Hey, how we feeling? <laughs> uh, my name's Ashley. I'm from the Nebraska AIDS Project. Man, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. All right. A rose quilt, an open window on a September night. I am awake. The echoes of decade-old love songs and the smell of cigarettes linger on my body. I can feel his touch. I roll over and curl up, hoping to find a shred of peace, a shred to love him, maybe a reason not to. I can feel his touch. They've, er, I feel his hands. They find my top, unbutton it, and expose my bra, exposing the faults in my chest, carrying my secrets and my pride. I've been exposed. But tonight, I'm in bed, and I'm alone. Leather seats, a summer breeze, expressway lights, we kiss. I'm not sure if it's out of love or loneliness, but we kiss. I haven't been caressed like this in months. Somehow, my young skin is feeling soft against his aged chest. Actually, my young skin is feeling slimy against his aged chest. We kiss. I tell him I must go, that this isn't right. I'm not supposed to be here. Not tonight, and not with him. Blue eyes stare me down, not letting me break the gaze or his embrace, not letting me break what he calls us. He, he frowns. The street lamp shadows his face, only showing me a cute smirk. Well, really, it's more of a sinister smirk. His mustache and beard are mangled. He looks really drunk. He looks in love, he says. I am in love, I say. But tonight, I don't feel in love. I feel apathetic. His bushy eyebrows and crusted lips are burned into my brain. My quilt is feeling like sandpaper, but my skin really doesn't need to be smoothed. There's nothing wrong with me. No, there's nothing wrong with me. A red button-up, hair tied back, a past Sunday evening. I stand at my post. I can smell alcohol. This is a bar, and there's booze everywhere. Two women are taking shots behind me, and I can smell alcohol. It has saturated my skin and pruned my fingers. I can feel his breath on my neck. His beard tickles my cheek, and I can smell alcohol, but this time it's not from the bar. He's here, ready to pick up his love bug, he says. I am at work, our work. I cry. I tell him I can't do this anymore. He says he can't imagine not doing me anymore. He throws his pint on the ground, shards of glass tickle my ankles, and he watches me. Blue is considered the easiest color on the eyes, but tonight it is by far the most manipulative, and I leave with him. Tonight, I left with him. No, actually, tonight I left alone. I got my car without saying goodbye, without a kiss. It's been three months. I see his face each day, but every time I feel a little less guilt, a little less wrong. He was demoted, no longer one of my supervisors. He was demoted, now with no power over me. He got the message. Tonight, I am alone, and I got my message. I am alone.